Okay, guys. Um, here's uh, the base of a old furnace I had, and I got the lid over on in another location. I forgot to bring it over. Um, I'll have a picture of this center plug. Uh, this is the drain hole in the bottom, and I just machined out a simple plug. And then just put a couple of tack welds uh, to hold it in place. And then here's here's the burner feed tube. And what I need to do is make a mold for the inside like this. And that I'll pour the refractory in up to this plug. Then I'll put this mold in place and put wedges around to keep it centered and against the burner tube and then I'll pour the refractory all the way around and build it up and then after it starts to cure then I'll shave it down to fit the top and I gotta do another mold the same way for the top section so what I had, uh, did was I just took some junk styrofoam and with Elmer's glue, carpenter glue, I glued it together and put uh, weight on it and left it overnight to cure. And then I took and cut out uh, the diameter I need and put weight on that and let that cure so now I got a guide and what I'll do is I'll rough cut this out and then I'll put on the bottom and then get my alignment that way now let's turn this on and I'll show you my how my hot wire unit works. Doesn't take too long to heat up. Just let that warm up a little bit. There she's starting to smoke. Okay, so we're just going to take off some excess. Normally I'd be pushing in from this way, but you wouldn't be able to see anything because I would be blocking the view. Uh, sometimes that Elmer's glue causes a little bit of lag. Let's cut that off. Get rid of that piece. See now there's, there's where the Elmer's glue is really thick and it stopped stopped the movement come on get through it I should have should have adjusted the tension on this this is a little uh, weak on the the tension on the wire, but it's and like I said, right now I'm just roughing this out. See how the wires pull way over. I don't have enough tension on it. Come on, get through the glue. Boy, didn't cause that much trouble on the on the first one. Come 
Come on. There we go. Get that off. hear it when she snaps from going through that glue. Trying to catch some of this bottom and bellops out. And you, there you can see the wire is fighting its way through the glue. Well, we're almost down to size now. as you can come on there. But we're getting close now. I'm going to go a little bit more <coughs> and trim it down a little closer along the edge and then I'll take this other section and put it on there so that it'll fit up and I'll have a cylinder. Now if you got a big lump uh, that it got cut out Either just by the wire, wire um, veering off, like say, like here. Let's say if I put this thing and it's like that, and I got a groove. Well, the way to fix that is when you got a bad spot, you just mix up plaster Paris and you smooth it on, and you make it a little thick. You make the plaster Paris a little thick, and you put on several coats until you build it up high enough. Then over here, let me move this over. I'll turn this off. There. And move it over a little bit. I took a sheet of sandpaper and clamped it down. And then after the um, plaster Paris was cured, then I just took and rotate it. I put it on the edge, pull and rotate at the same time. Just keep on going around and around until it's sanded down smooth. 
Now you don't have to have it absolutely perfect because this is just a whole refractory. It doesn't have to be like a mold. It's just got to be relatively uniform and smooth. And that's what I'll do with this one. That will be the top. This will be the bottom. And um, then once I once I have have it uh, sanded down, you know, I'm ready to go. So then on the next operation, I guess um, I will finish this, and then I'll come back when I got everything made, and we'll put the start pouring in the refractory, putting in the mold with spacers, and then I'll pack in the refractory, and then that's got a cure for three days to a week. Depends on on. Um, a lot of factors. Uh, how how much water I use, how um, where it's, uh, how damp the uh, the surrounding area is. If it's real dry, it'll dry faster. But it's got to be dry before you even fire it up. But I'll pat. I'll I'll come back and when when these are done, and we'll start doing the refractory.